Wedding festivities are in full swing in this town on Egypt's Nile Delta, but the bride and groom are only a side party. Before today, many guests had never met them. In a back room, they still donate to the common pot. Each guest will eventually collect his money when he throws his own party. It saves money. It allows us to have a decent wedding. It's helpful. If I attend someone's wedding, he attends mine. I collect between 3,300 and 3,800, and after paying for the band and the electricity, we can buy land or a car with what's left of the money. This is an alternative to bank loans in a country where inflation has ballooned since the 2011 uprising. Some Egyptians fear they could lose their savings if banks go bust. Others don't even have bank accounts. The banking system is not available to 90% of Egyptians, so it's difficult to get loans and use it on a daily basis. The only solution for people is to try to find a cooperative method. Hassan Agami's job is to keep track of each person's contribution and fix a schedule for future collections. I consider it a success when everyone attends. Whoever skips the party has fooled me, so I knock on his door the following day. These collection parties have become so popular that people have to reserve slots months in advance. In the meantime, the more celebrations they attend, the bigger party they can hope to organize.